Okay, we're here we are. We're breaking bread together for the first time. There's Thomas, Inez, pasta. and Vicky. It's, it's pasta, which is almost like bread. October 7th found us bright and early heading out to Telto on the subway and then the train. The whole team, the th three cousins, Thomas, Francesco, and Peter, on the camera. Yeah, We were met in Telto by the, an official from the city in an official red van, and then we were taken to a reception at the machine shop next to Ernst House. The new generation should also. No, no, no. It's there. The just the old generation. You make an exception, but no, no. on your knees. Okay? Okay. <laughs> no, this is a good idea. It's a favor for my brother. The mother of one of us is one of us. Yeah, but there's no camera. Oh, yeah. Okay. During the communist regime, when they owned the factory next door, they added this hideous workers' cafeteria onto the beautiful villa. This painting of the worker's paradise was part of the decorations left over from the communist era. It was gut-wrenching to walk through the interior of this beautiful villa where great uncle Ernst had walked and lived and realize that it had been stolen from him and he'd been exiled from here. Outside of the villa, a small crowd had gathered to witness the ceremony of the installation of the Stahlperstein. Which was, was built after the villa. And the gathering of people. Come on. Das Erste Weltkrieges wirkte als leitender Ingenieur in in- und ausländischen Autofabriken. Eine seiner bedeutenden Leistungen war der Lastkraftwagen Rex Simplex mit einem Vierzylinder-Motor. In Telto leitete er bereits von 1911 bis 1912 die Flugübungsfeld Telto-Gesellschaft, die sich vor allem mit Flugversuchen auf dem Flugplatz nahe dem Bahnhof Telto befasste. In der Weimarer Zeit war er zunächst tätig im Reichsamt für Luft- und Kraftfahrwesen und danach als beeidigter Sachverständiger für Kraftfahrzeuge. In Sao Paulo im brasilianischen Exil unterhielt er eine Firma zur Herstellung von Drehbänken. Er starb dort am 19. April 1950 an einem Gehirnschlag. Gespendet wurde dieser Stolperstein von Gabriele und Christian Bergner aus Telto.
Here lived Dr. Ernst Valentin, born 1874, exiled to Brazil, 1939.